guys. Happy Sunday morning. <clears throat> this is Empress Shay Shay. Welcome back to my channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe me to every platform, um, social media platform that you can subscribe me to. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for all the um, support that you guys give me on my channel. Thank you for all the readings, the donations, all that. Happy, happy birthday, Aquarius. <laughs> okay, guys. this let, I'm just checking in to see what's the current energy. Oh, okay, Holy Spirit, you're ready then? Okay. All that glitters. <clears throat> okay, this is the current energy. Guys, it's kind of early. I apologize if you can't see, but I don't, um, the light is, is, I don't like the light this early. Okay, <clears throat> so all that glitters. So when I'm getting the energy from this card is that you think a situation, you're thinking more into a situation than what it actually is. Or are you thinking, you're putting this person on a higher pedestal than what they actually deserve. That's what I get. And this could be male or female, same sex relationship. Take it how it resonates. It's just a general message, okay? A change is in the wind. So something is about to change in your situation. Something is about to change. Okay? And no place like home. Someone feels like you are home to them. This is what I'm getting from these three cards. Come through spirit. I'm getting that this person thought that if they was to change their circumstance and go stay with someone in the past, that they were going to have a lot of money, um, a lot of um, material things. They thought this. They thought higher of this person than actually what they was. They thought higher of this past person than they thought of you. This is what I'm hearing, and they thought this past person was so reformed or so changed and they thought maybe it, they was going to have a, a better life with this person that they chose in the past but a change had came it was a change in the wind okay so i'm assuming this person something about them changed or they wasn't genuine from the from the start and this person realizes that now because they're like there's no place like home so now since they went back to this person now they're seeing your worth and they wanted to move forward because they're saying it's no place like home but now since they finally made that decision and they finally see you for who you really are they like oh shit but it's a fork in the road because now they're trying to figure out how do i get out of this situation that i thought that was so spectacular that i thought that was going to be the my end all be all that I thought everything was going to be fine. I wouldn't have to go and, you know, look for anybody else or be with anybody else in a relationship or whatever. OK, but now they have a, a fork in the road. You know, they are either at a crossroads to where they don't know what direction to take or they know what direction to take. But they have to meet. They have to um, sever ties with someone from the past. This is what I'm getting because they want to be happy. I see happy, happy. You make them happy, happy. That's why they say no place like home. You're their milk and honey. Look at all these beautiful cards coming out. You're their milk and honey. You're their pot of, um, they rainbow, they little pot of gold. They, they pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. Um, <clears throat> you do everything by the book. You don't mind helping them. A leg up. Okay? You really don't mind helping them. And I'm hearing that's what they like about you. Okay? <clears throat> Let me see what card can I pull. Okay. Guys, I'm going to have to put this light on. I did not want to put this light on. <laughs> Okay, guys. Okay, now you can see the cards better. You can see Empress Cheche better. Okay. 
see this is what all the glitters is not gold this card which is no place like home a change in the wind a leg up about a book milk and honey happy happy and a fork in the road okay okay guys let's roll i don't want to make it too long okay shine bright like a candle you will make it through this okay you're hurt behind this situation you're hurt because you wanted this person or you thought this person wanted you however it goes guys but this situation is making one of you guys very sad and it says just find this to be a lesson discover the purpose in a situation and trust that you are learning so you have to learn even if this person don't come back you have to learn that this was only a lesson okay or maybe the person that's leaving the person from the past you have to understand that was just a lesson okay and it's time to move on the next card out is that you can't go back to yesterday i love that card because you know a lot of us try to go back to yesterday or sometimes we feel as if it's safer to go back to something that we had in our past but that's not all the that's not all the time true um you think if you go back in your past and you go with somebody that's more familiar that you're going to be happier, you're going to feel safer. Well, it's best to go with someone I know than someone I don't know type energy. Okay? But that's not always the truth because that means you're not even living in the present. And you're not allowing yourself to learn from your past to better your situation towards the future. Yeah, moving on with someone new can can be very scary. Okay, but we're, um, you know, spiritually, you should always trust in the divine. You should always trust yourself. Um, doing something new to me is fun, but yes, it's scary because especially when you're dealing with a relationship or a another person, you know, it's like you have to relearn this person, relearn what they like. And, you know, that's a lot, guys. But anywho. I'm going to use my monology cards. And this is just the current energy that I'm checking in with. This is it. Okay. Okay. It says it's time to take action. You could be dealing with an Aries. Okay. And it also say meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces. You could be dealing with Aries or Pisces. Guys, I stress meditation because meditation brings clarity, mental clarity. Okay? And the bottom of the deck, it says nothing will come of this situation. Nothing will come of this situation without mental clarity. Okay? I really believe that. I really feel that with this energy. You have to see who you are within your own self before you can invite anybody else to be with you. Okay, let's get into the tarot. Look what came out. Look at this. The Knight of Swords and the Star. You know the energy that I get from these two cards? First of all, it's all air energy. The star is Aquarius energy right off the rip. The Knight of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So we, it, we're dealing with someone that's air, okay? Some way, form, or fashion. Or you could be dealing with Aquarius that's dealing with a Libra, okay? But all in all, what I'm looking at, I'm looking at a person also, a star to me could mean someone is either carrying a message Starks normally carry babies. You know, you know how the old-fashioned movies show you where a Stark carries a baby. But to me, a bird is always a messenger. That's to me. So I feel like this person is a messenger of God. And this person is sending messages out and being very authentic and clear with their messages. This is what I see from these two cards. And that they don't really... When they give the messages, they don't hold on to the messages. 
they have learned how to expel the messages. They have learned to say, okay, I've given the message, now I'm going to give it back to the universe. Or I have dealt with this situation in a relationship and I didn't seen it for what it is, so I'm pouring out my problems, I'm pouring out my troubles, and I'm giving it back to the universe. Um, and I don't care who, who thinks what because I'm going to live in my truth, okay? This is what I see from those two cards. And with saying that, you decided to move forward, six of wands. You decided to move forward pretty quick, pretty quickly. And to me, when I look at this card, I never really looked at it like that. You decided to move forward around Christmas time. See, reefs come around Christmas because you were tired of doing everything by yourself. You see how she's holding that wand by herself? So now somebody's trying to chase behind you. Look at this person that's chasing behind this person. I never really seen that like that. Okay? Then you have someone on the side. You have two people that's going to be chasing you. I'm hearing it's going to be two people chasing this Aquarius. And this Aquarius is going to have two options. Okay? The table is going to turn for this person because this person has been through a lot. So this person's like, okay... I have my sword up because I got to fight for what I want in this life. It could be a career. I have to work hard to get where I need to be. And I got to leave a lot of people behind if I want success in my life. Okay? That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I mean, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, Holy Spirit, what else? Okay, we have the hang one. The way I see the hang one right now is that this person is, they don't know what they want. They don't know, um, they're really confused. I can even look at them, the way they even dress looks confusing to me. Um, they just, they're hanging from their own sock, if you can see that. It's like they're hanging by a thread from their own sock, so to me, Something is going on with their mental. I can say they're having some type of mental breakdown. Because who would even hang from a tree with a string of a sock? Okay? I can say this person is very wishy-washy, not clear on how they... Their mental is not clear on how they think. So instead of them making a decision, they rather just hang around... And be in a mental funk, basically. Be clouded because they they don't want to make a decision. So I say this person is very lazy and making a decision. And that's why this other person is like, fuck that, I'm moving on. Okay? The Knight of Cups. I, I cannot make this up. That's why this person is like, okay, I'm moving on. I don't have time to wait on someone to either get rid of their past or to really be enlightened as to who I am. Okay, life is too short, all that glitters. So let me just move on with my life until this people until this person get this shit together. This Scorpio energy is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay. I have the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Okay. What I get from these cards is that again, what I was just telling you. Now the Eight of Pentacles came up in reverse. So you feel like when you're dealing with this person, it affects your money. That you're unable to work as hard as you should work. Because you're too busy trying to hold everything down. You see where you what this person's holding this by themselves? This person's holding this holding it up, holding themselves up by a thread because they're like, man, it's two wands here. So I got to hold myself up. Because every time I deal with this person, I, I can build really good by myself. I can work hard by myself. My money look good. But as soon as I start dealing with this person, I go back into the eight of pentacles in reverse where I'm barely hanging on by a string. Okay? That is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the tower. So a lot of shit is about to get shaken up. Okay? A whole lot of shit is about to get shaken up and proven to you what decision you need to make in this situation. If not, the universe is going to make it for you. Okay? So it really is time to move forward instead of just watching. 
someone is actually spying on you 